so wake up now if you're sleeping time is less guys that i'm not able to finish the syllabus the weightage of the chapters that we have if you go by this pattern you can attempt the questions again this is a stand alone chapter so hello aspirants how are you all i hope everybody is doing good and well J2025 is very near for you all. All the 2025 aspirants must be, you know, very nervous right now. Will be uh, must be preparing very well right now for their coming first attempt or be it second attempt. But yeah, the preparation must be going on very high up to tight. And uh, I hope that the video I'm going to do today and uh, this video will come to you by today or tomorrow uh, maximum. But I hope that this is going to be really helpful for you all. I'm sure that the by seeing the heading, you must be thinking, sir, this is something which everybody is posting online. Uh, we have seen a lot of uh, these kind of videos. And uh, as obvious, I'm going to talk about the high weightage chapters, but not too many of them. It's just 10 of them. By the end of the video, if you stick with me and if you watch this video, you'll realize that why am I talking about these cha 10 chapters only? And one more thing, I'm sure, I'm certain, I'm, I can totally guarantee that if you do these 10 chapters you can get 99 percentile and above and I'll, I'll talk with facts i'll talk with facts i'll not directly jump upon to the 10 topics uh, i have released uh, a few videos earlier also where i've said that it's not possible there is no shortcut because there are multiple uh, dates for the exam multiple uh, attempts for the exam and uh, along with that multiple shifts so you cannot say that only these chapters if i'll do i'm going to get uh, 99 percentile but here i'm saying that top priority because the time is less guys come on time is very less with us right now and we have to prioritize we cannot you know keep on thinking keep on stressing ourselves that i'm not able to finish the syllabus i'm not able to do this chapter that chapter so right now something which can peace your mind is priority you have to prioritize and i'm going to give you the priority don't panic keep your preparation high listen to this video till the end it will definitely give you some advantage over your preparation which you are going through right now and i'm sure that you'll be able to crack j e. mains very easily with 99 and above percentile now top 10 chapters obviously before going to that let's see some facts so how many questions did we get in the last three years in 2022 if we talk about in 2022 we got 660 questions the number of shifts vary from year to year so total in all the shifts and all the shifts and attempts total 660 questions were there in uh, year 2022 and likely similarly you had 660 720 and 600 and 224 right 2022 660 questions were there 2023 720 questions were there multiple shifts were there more shifts were there and in 2024 this year we had 600 questions all combined in maths in all the shifts combined in maths we had this many of questions now let's see the weightage of the chapters that we have so first of all very starting thing or very uh, familiar thing which we have is algebra we have been studying algebra from our uh, you know earlier classes also in algebra if we talk about the weightage of the chapters in matrices and determinants you don't study that you know uh, as two different chapters you cannot say that i've only done matrices and i'm not doing determinants Combinedly matrices and determinants is counted as, as a chapter and it has very good weightage. It has very good weightage. You can see 47 questions were asked in 22, 51 questions were asked in 23 from matrices and determinants combined and in 2024, 41 questions were asked in all shifts combined, obviously. out This is from 600, this is from 720 this is from 660 so keep that in mind as well sequence and series another great you know very important chapter and most importantly standalone chapter you don't need to complete any other thing for understanding and doing this chapter is a very high weighted chapter in 2022 we had 37 questions in 23 45 questions because 720 questions were there and in 24 also we had 36 questions from sequence and series we can say that almost in every every shift one question definitely minimum one question was there from sequence and series all chapter combined and we are talking about j mains over here okay so sequence and series again a very important chapter binomial theorem look at the weightage weightage dropped from 23 23 to 24 a little bit of weightage dropped although questions were less over here but 25 questions from 
Binomial theorem itself were there in 2024. In 22, we had 28 questions. In 23, we had good amount of questions independently only from binomial theorem. And again, this is a standalone chapter. You can study this without the help of any other chapter. PNC, permutations and combinations, very important chapter. The weightage dropped last year. Uh, I'm sorry, this year, 2024. Very few questions were asked, but the level of these questions from PNC in 2024 was very good. If you have attempted the PYQs of 2024, you must have seen that PNC questions were of good level. In 2023, too many questions were asked and very easy questions were also there. Many questions were very easy in 23. 41 questions out of 720 were asked and in 22, we had 18 questions. So if the questions are less from PNC, they are supposed to be a little bit tricky. But PNC, as you know, very strategic chapter. You have to understand the permutations of like and uh, unlike objects then you have to do the selection of like and unlike objects and then distribution of like and unlike objects if you go by this pattern you can attempt the questions of pnc very successfully complex number 23 questions in 24 24 in 25 in 2022 Right, so this weightage of the number of questions are almost of the similar type, similar quantity in 22, 23, and 24 last three years. Complex number has been a consistent chapter if we talk about the number of questions. Now, let's move on to the calculus part. Calculus is something new for us, but calculus, if we pay attention at the very starting concepts, we can understand and master this particular. Uh, scenarios a particular subject of maths sub subject of maths in uh, calculus also definite integration although a little difficult or you know a bit trickier side but very very important 35 questions in 2024 20 uh, 34 questions in 2023 and 37 questions in 2022 along with the along with definite integration it's, we are not uh, talking only about the indefinite all uh, the formats and all we are talking about definite integration right the limits upper limit and lower limit that part only from that part these many questions were there in these three years then differential equation also has a very good weightage this year in 2024 it jumped the number of questions increased although only 600 questions of in total were there in 2024 but 34 questions were from differential equations and if you are good at different basic calculus also you can do differential equations similar you know very specified formats very specified type of questions are there i think hardly eight to nine types of questions are there only in those types of manipulations will be there you can master this chapter pay attention at this right now we are only talking about the overall weightage of all the parts then we'll see the top 10 chapters stick with me aod applications of derivatives if you're good at differentiation the uh, formulas and the methods of differentiation then aod is going to be easy for you on the easier side specific formats here also specific types here also and aod has a good weightage 21 in 24 24 in 23 and 38 questions were there in 2022 it is likely to have a good weightage in 2025 attempt also do cover applications of derivatives then area under the curves if you are good at different uh, definite integrations area under the curves also will be handleable for you you can do it area under the curves 22 questions in 24 26 questions in 2023 and 20 questions in 2022 area under the curves can be mastered along with integration and basic calculus along with definite integration you'll have to keep it handy now look at sets relations and functions easy chapters easily understandable chapters not even graphs no, uh, uh, you know, too much of graphs also you don't have to involve only sets relations and functions even if you have done your ncrt practice very well and some questions from the refreshers and modules and whatever you are following good questions if you have done pyqs also if you have done look at the weightage of sets relations and functions. not i'm combining all these chapters because obviously they are supposed to be combined you cannot study only sets and relations and functions differently if you are doing then cover sets relations and functions look at the weightage 47 questions were in 2024 64 questions were there in 2023 and 38 questions were there in 2022 this chapter can prove very very productive for you very important for you it can actually fill up your marks to a good uh, level to a good high ranking right this chapter if you keep it handy will give you a lot of a lot of confidence a lot of confidence a lot of marks that can be said 
for sure. Now, some other coordinate chapters, conic sections, straight lines and circles. Now, see, in 20, after 2023, from conics itself, many of the concepts were removed. Many of the topics, subtopics were removed. For example, tangents and normals were removed, as far as I remember. And some more conics, conics uh, subtopics were removed. Because of that, what has happened? Straight lines weightage has increased. And this year, again, it is going to be same straight lines is going to be proven as very very important chapter minimum one question maximum three questions in a set are going to be there from straight lines straight line is an easy chapter if you understand this chapter very well now and right now also we are going to have some sessions on straight lines only in this week and the upcoming week good sessions on straight lines if you cover this chapter up this can boost your marks to a good level 30 questions conic sections all along although Everything is a part of conic sections, circles and straight lines also, but conic sections, if we keep parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, other, other things separate, then conic sections, removing straight lines and circles, 33, 31 and 45 questions. In 2022, the weightage was very good, but then some parts were removed from J main syllabus. That's why straight lines weightage has increased drastically. Circles again is an important chapter. So, many of the parts, many of the parts from circles are removed. That is why straight lines here, I'm again repeating, straight lines cover it up very well. This is going to boost your marks for sure. Okay. So now some more chapters are there. Some more chapters are there. For example, uh, we have 3D vector. I've not uh, uh, included them, but 3D vector probability is also going to be very very important chapter 3d is uh, your trigonometry and itf 3d and vector all together both of them have a good weightage i was not able to accurately find the data the number of questions but 3d and vector along with each other vector if you are doing and 3d if you are doing see in vectors you don't have planes anymore so vector uh, sorry in 3d you don't have planes anymore and vectors is an easy chapter vectors simple formulas and simple formats you have you can cover it cover it up vector and 3d all together both of them is very high weightage you, in all the three years there was good amount of uh, number Number of questions from these two chapters then trigonometry and itf a little bit itf a little bit on the lower side as per the weightage but probability if you are doing pnc and probability together it can definitely boost your marks so the miscellaneous chapter which i'm talking about 3d vector trigonometry inverse trigonometry and probability good weighted chapter from here vector and 3d can boost your marks very well independent chapters only vector and 3d you have to do together straight lines if you are covering then 3d will be on the easier side for you many parts from 3d are already removed planes used to be a difficult part in mains you are not going to get planes so cover vector and 3d also now one remark was written that how much do you need the average score to get 99 percentile here it should be 99 percentile to get 99 percentile what is the score average score that you need see this side this time in 2025 you are going to get 25 questions no choice and all so i'm expecting it will be somewhere around 51 to 61 marks if you can get somewhere between them this is the average if you can get somewhere between this you are going to definitely get 99 and above percentile and this is not going to be difficult to secure now let's talk about the top 10 chapters which is the main heading main topic main thing which we are going to talk about to secure 51 to 61 marks and 99 percentile just cover these chapters in this sequence only first cover functions very high weightage you can see the data also from all the three years functions had a good weightage sets and relations you'll have to do for functions that's a mandate without that you cannot do but sets and relation if basic also you know then functions you should do very well uh, good questions pyq is including everything you can get good marks in your j men's attempt now matrices and determinants after functions you should do see everybody will tell you what are the high weighted chapters if you type it on google you, you'll easily get these or some man, some differences in them but these are the chapters which have high weightage but this is the sequence in which we should you should cover these chapters up revise these chapters or, or prioritize your studies after functions matrices and determinants independent chapters good easy property based chapters do this after functions then you should do vector and 3d together combining this 
can boost your rank, uh, can boost your percentile in J.E. mains and even the rank. Sequence and series, independent chapter. Eat it up completely. Specific things are there. AP, GP, AGP, VN method, series, summation, all these things only are there. Try as many questions as you can from this part and we'll bring up before your attempt of JE mains, we'll bring up a session on sequence and series also. We'll try for other topics from this list. Good sessions, solving sessions, PYQ sessions, everything we are bringing up. But stay tuned to the channel and cover these chapters. Binomial theorem. Binomial theorem, again, standalone chapter, very important. Straight lines, I already told you, after vector 3D, do sequence and series. You'll need a bit of knowledge of functions also over here in sequence and series, like greatest integer and other type of functions, mod and all. You need to know over here. So that's why functions in, is, in, is the main priority, you know, first priority to cover everything functions you'll need. Binomial theorem, then straight lines. Straight lines coordinate in entire coordinate. If you only do straight lines also, no, that much is going to be enough. If you want actually 99 percentile differentiation and applications of derivatives without differentiation methods, methods of differentiation, you cannot do AOD, you cannot do applications of derivatives. So these two chapters are all along and weightage everything. You'll get this PDF. You can see all these things. Weightage for all these chapter have been high from all the years from last three, four, five years. In fact, we can see that if we cover these chapters also. We can guarantee ourselves that we are going to get 99 percentile and above. So priority, priority should be this. That's it. Integration, I mean only indefinite. You can chuck up the definite integration over here if you are prioritizing your topics. Then in the end, differential equations. Integration, after that you do differential equations. Follow this order of revision. Follow this order of studying. If you have done nothing also, if you are, if you are, if you have totally lost all the hopes on your JE mains, just do these chapters in this sequence and you can guarantee yourself that you are going to get through JE mains. And that is very good achievement, guys. So wake up now if you are sleeping. And if you are already woken up, if you are already awake, then priority should be this thing. All the best. Then let me know if you need more this uh, this kind of videos. Subscribe to the channel. Many of you have not subscribed. Then ask your friends also to subscribe this channel. Support us and we'll support you. All the best. Keep learning. Thank you.